Hello, shall we solve pips? Let's try. We'll start with the easy puzzle as usual. All right, we've got a zero. We only have one zero, so that's fine. I, um, presumably it goes into the five, and then we need two ones for the five. Yeah, that's clear. So we could make the nine with a, yeah, this works. We can get, make the nine with a, a six and a three. So the six there, three there, five there, and then finish off this 10 with a double five. And there we go. Great, okay. Let's try the medium puzzle. Now look, we've got three equivalence zones of size, sizes two, three, and four. So I can see we have five fives. That could be the two and the three. In fact, I think it will, well, no. The five could work for any of these. Actually, the five is for the four sized region because five is the only number of which we have four or more. Okay, so that does go into the fours, which means there's another five that can't go into any of these, which means it must cross over into the one. So I think we can put a one, a one and a five here. It might have to go the other way, but effectively that that's where that one's going. Um, okay, so we've got more fives, and then we could have three threes and two twos. Yeah, so we need a five and a two crossing over a two and a three crossing over, which will go this way to put the threes in the other region. We'll have double, oops, double fives here, another five peeking down to three. We need to swap, the, this needs to flip around. And then we finish, oops, finish the three equivalents with that. There we go. All right, let's try hard. I've had some tricky times with the hards in the last few days. So let's, let's see how this one is. Okay, it's another fairly compact grid. Oh, we've got 24, interesting. Um, right. We could spell 24 without any sixes. We could do four fives and a four. And in fact, I think that's exactly what we're going to need to do because looking at that's a good thought because we actually have no sixes. So that is, that is a valuable thought. Um, so what did I say? F four fives and a four and one, two, three. We have exactly four fives, so they all must go in there. We have quite a few fours. So in fact, the fours will probably make up some of these equivalences, actually. And then we need two blank cells for the zero. I bet we'll have a blank and one going into the four. Um, that's my suspicion there. So let's see, should I try and solve this 24? We do know we need five fours. Sorry, four fives. <laughs> Um, and then we've got a two size equivalence and a three size equivalence region. So we've got enough fours to fill either of those. We have three threes, so that could fill either of those. Right, okay. We have a few different possibilities. Oh, but we need one of the fours for the 24. Uh, we do have four of them though. So again, that could still, we still have enough for them to be three equivalents. Right, okay. Um, Right. Where do I start with this then? Do we can we put something in this vertical part of the 24? It would need to be double five or five and four. No, that is a good start. So that means we need we need something bridging this top left cell and the greater than one. So we need a five or a four with a greater than one. Unfortunately, we have several possibilities for that. That's too bad. Um but given we know we have nothing horizontal in the 20, fully contained within the 24, we maybe start thinking about that. So we have fives pointing out of it, fives and one four pointing out of it. We could do, let's see. So we'll need one going across the top, one going down here, so I think that means we'll also need two poking down into the equals from the 24. So we could put a five and a three and a four and a three in there. Now we would need to fill the rest of the 24s with only fives. Um, one of them will poke out at the top, which would have to be this one if I'm correct. The other one will point down um, I suspect we'll want the five and the blank pointing down into the four, but I don't think I know that yet. Um, let's see. So what do we have enough of to build this three equals now? 
we do have three fours and I don't think anything else works. So we could put, let's see. I don't, uh, we don't have a double four. So I don't think what I was just about to do would work. Um, I might've backed myself into a corner here. Um, Zero and four. We would then need two fours. Yeah, that's not going to work. What about this? That looks a little better. Because then we could put a four one there, a zero one there. Then we need a two. No, that doesn't work. Oh, no, no. It'll be four two. Sorry. Four two here. Now we need a one poking up into five into the 24. That That's correct. And then a four can point. Oh, come on. Um four points down into doesn't matter what, five points down into doesn't matter what, and then zero can fill this. Great. Okay. That took me longer than it probably should have, but um, I was trying to work through it logically rather than just sort of start taking guesses. So sometimes that's how it goes. All right. Those were the pips. Should be back tomorrow. Bye for now.